I'm PK and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross hanging out with the man himself, Mr. JPK in St. Louis at Faith Church, getting ready to put it down tonight. And uh, man, it is an honor and a privilege to talk to the man who set it all off. Hey, Jay, man. Now, uh, man, you just in the you just in the cut now. You know, you just rolling. Well, what's happening is we we, we never died. We was, we was <laughs> doing it on the local level. No, um, I love it. This year we actually. We go out on tour, and, and for the last maybe eight or nine years, I do a West Coast around this month. So yeah. we headed out west for a minute and come back. So I'll be out for about 15 days. Man, I love it, man. We started in Asheville, Memphis. Uh, I'm from Memphis here um, tomorrow. Um, I'll be in uh, Colorado. Man, you everywhere. Uh, yeah, Friday night, Las Vegas. Come on, Vegas. Y'all know what we do. And uh, San Bernardino, L.A., and then work our way back. Yeah, but Jake, now you, you've been a standard bearer for a long time in gospel music. Like when you was first getting into it, yeah. did you know this was going to happen, man? Or you just... Or did you know you... what? I actually started out here. My sister right. lived in Creve Corps, and uh, um, I actually, um, um, uh, we still got access to that house. So we got family here, for real. And uh, Bill White was the first one to play one of my songs yeah. years ago on the album. They didn't have CDs there. <laughs> <laughs> on the album and uh, so I, I the, um, the St. Louis scene is a family scene for me yeah. and um, um, I'm from um, I was getting my sheet music scored um, just everybody St. Louis embraced me years ago so um, when I come to St. Louis it's really really like coming home because I got a lot of family and friends here so this had a lot to do with, with my pivoting from from uh, California doing a lot of secular gigs to coming here or moving to Charlotte and actually yeah. starting in the gospel but uh, St. Louis is the spot man. But you're known as the give back preacher man. Oh, yeah. You know you uh, what, 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 what made you want to do that? Is just something in your heart? It's, it's funny you ask me that. I'm on my way to Atlanta in a few days, okay. and there is a preacher by the name of Joseph Price, uh, Bishop Joseph Price, and I'm going back to Atlanta. When I first started out, my bus broke down, and this man gave me $100. Back then, $100 looked like $2.8 million. <laughs> and since that day, I've been giving back ever since. And then I come from a giving family. Grandma taught us when you give and when you chase seed, God will perform the harvest. So I am the give back preacher. I pay light bills, water bills. In the name of Jesus, man, sowing back into the people of God as a pastor. I don't take a salary, and to me, that's my reward, to be able to touch the lives of people. But you're also known as a cat that'll give young musicians a chance, like Tony yeah. Russell, Fitzgerald, yeah. Morgan, Turner. You yeah. know, is that is that is that something else in your spirit? Or you, you know what? You see I, growth in them. I, I think when they were young, most of them, Tony, I got at 18, uh, Maurice a little younger than that. And uh, what's really important is when you sow into their lives, those cats like that, they don't forget it. I'm still in touch with Tony Russell. I mean, I just sold into their church last night, um, gaining musicians. I got the keyboard player on the road with me, <laughs> and he's playing bass. So it's, 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 it's a family. Fitzgerald, I don't hear from him that much, but I heard he said some great things the other day. Oh, yeah. I think it was you. Yeah. The interview, so, uh, and uh, Calvin Rogers, those are sons of mine. And, uh, hey, man, they went to the John P. Key School of Groove, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got a studio there. They know about it. It's called the Fat House. Everybody don't get to the Fat House. <laughs> but those that have worked there know we didn't play the Not Guilty record. We recorded that record almost in two weeks straight time. So uh, I love investing back into these lives. Morgan Turner, a great producer. Oh, yeah. We roll. Uh, Tony, you know, with, without speaking, he, he's a... He's a giant. Oh, know, yeah. And, uh, so these young boys, and we talk on the road, and they're getting some of that same knowledge so that they can find themselves as well. Yeah, last question, Jay. Like when you was coming up and you started, you coming out, you just like so funky, but you're in the traditional field yeah. with other guys. Did you catch a lot of flack? I caught a lot of flack. I was like <laughs> the first cat to really bring out the MPC on the gospel gig. And um, just that straight groove. I, I grew up groove. My daddy didn't let us get out the out of, out of the parameters of the two and four. Yeah. You know, these new cats, and I know the new music is all over the place, and that's what they do. I still got that groove if I can't hear it. I got my nephew, Cedric, um, CJ, yeah. CJ Thompson on drums. And, and CJ, man, um, when, when I don't say I lost Chris because he's still in, in the family. But CJ, you all know, CJ gives me that. That same T seventy nine <laughs> groove that he don't even he wasn't even here then probably but you know I, I think it, it, it breeds consistency yeah people love it people hear it and tell the truth that's why you here oh yeah. <laughs>
All right, y'all. Sound checking ready to kick off in a minute. I'm sitting down with the greatest, the great man, Mr. John P. Key. Just the funk master, man, a gospel, man. We're going to let him roll. This your boy, J. Ross, 10 million strong. We gone. Peace. J. Ross. <laughs>